A rare opportunity for the sprinters. Stage 17, 197, pretty flat kilometres from Pergine Valsugana to a finish on the coast at Caole. Four riders getting away, including Senelayson, Diego Sevilla, Thomas Champion and Charlie Coulterman of Team Coratec. A late counter-reaction from Davide Gaboro of Green Project Bardiani that was going nowhere. The Italian then sitting up. That left four riders up front and Andrea Pasqualon enjoying a day out in the sunshine and celebrating with his fans as he passed through his hometown. The same, the same was true of Marco Frigo, the young Italian also meeting up with his fan club in a day off for the majority of the peloton. Wonderful scenes then for the talented young Italian, but at the front there was a race and the first of two intermediate sprints was a battle between Thomas Champignon battling for points in the intermediate sprint standings, but beaten to the line by Diego Sevilla of Aeolo Cometa. That left four points up for grabs for Jonathan Milan to start to cement his lead in the Malachi Clamino competition. It would be an emphatic day in that competition. He took four points for fifth place and at the final intermediate sprint at Lido di Jesolo, again Champignon was beaten to the line, this time by Charlie Quarterman of Team Coratec. Champignon though picking up a total of 12 points in that competition and going into the joint lead. Then Senelayson attacked the rest of the breakaway as they approached the finishing line. Champignon sat up, Nason went clear, Sevilla and Quarterman tried briefly to get across to the Belgian ruler, but they too were caught before too long as the sprinters teams took control of the chase, having kept the breakaway on a very fine leash all day. Eventually, Senelayson, with just over five kilometers to go, was caught as DSM and Jake Olula, riding for Michael Matthews, took the race into the final few hundred meters. Michael Matthews then, the first of the sprinters to open up his effort. Alberto Dainese of DSM coming off his wheel. Jonathan Milan coming from a long way back to finish fast, and it was close over the line. Too close to call for either of the Italian sprinters, but Dainese got it by just the width of a wheel rim. A big victory for Dainese then. Uh, the last meter was really digging so deep. I, I was really on the limit and I saw Donny coming. I couldn't really do a, like throw my bike as I was really on the limit, but uh, yeah, it's nice to, to get from, I don't know, a few centimetres my wheel in front of Johnny and uh, to get a win. Alberto Dainese has a happy habit of winning at the Giro d'Italia. Only four wins to his name in total. 50% of them have come at the Giro. And four Italians in the top five. Geraint Thomas enjoyed a relative day off in the Maglia Rosa. No scares for him and an unchanged position at the top of the GC after 17 stages.